good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, tastemaker friends and fans. <laughs> Do I only have fans? Only fans? And anyway, um, uh, welcome to Tastemaker episode 39. Uh, have a pretty cool drink, I think, for you uh, tonight. So um, we just had, you know, we, what we passed this week was a specific date on the calendar, which was basically marking the end of summer, right? The end of summer, the beginning of fall, um, just a day or two ago. So uh, what better way to kind of, uh, I guess, celebrate the end of summer um, with a cocktail that kind of, at least I think of summer with it and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, you're gonna go with me here in a second because you're gonna try to make it a little bit for you. So follow me. Okay. All right. We've got the ingredients already in the blender. And yes, we are we are using a blender. Surprise. Um anyway, uh what are we making? So tonight in celebration of the end of summer, we're going to, I, like I said, I was trying to make something that reminded me of summer, maybe not for you. Anyway, this is called a bush whacker or in layman's terms a bushwhacker but if you emphasize it correctly it's bush whacker um so what's in it what is all of this good stuff right here uh it's basically uh dark rum kalua uh, or other coffee liqueur um of choice cream de cacao now it calls for a dark cream de cacao uh, but i only use the white or clear uh, I just have the clear, so it's probably not going to turn out as dark as it may if you were using the dark cream de cacao. Um, cream of coconut, uh, so this is my first time actually using cream of coconut. Whole milk, and at the, you know, once I get it in the glass, you can put some grated nutmeg on it if you want. Anytime I've been to the beach and something had a bush whacker, there's not been any nutmeg on top. Maybe there's been inside, I haven't really tasted it. So first of all, let's get this thing going, shall we? And I'm just using a cup of like apartment ice. Good stuff. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's go. I'll tell you a short story while we're doing this, okay? So basically walking, you know, at, at an event with some friends one time, this guy comes up to me and says, you have red hair. <laughs> so, so far, so good. Anyway, the jackass said, you have red hair, you know? And I was like, no. So anyway, we keep on going down and everything and uh, I fall and trip and break my big toe. We're trying to go along and, and just, it's crazy and stupid, it's not something my head, but it's too late. And that's how a horse ended up breaking my forehead. <laughs> okay. I think we're good, don't you? All right. Let's see. Where's my... Here we go. All right. Let's see. It looks a little soupier than I've had... It. Oh, yeah. Much soupier than I've had it, say, at the beach. But that is about... Perfect. Look at that. And this is high quality beachwear. All right, now let's go sit down and do this properly. Okay, <clears throat> now that we are in our proper positions, um, everybody ready to go? Let's not hesitate. It smells delicious. It smells exactly like the bushwhackers I've, excuse me, bushwhackers I've had at the beach and they're always delicious. Uh, by the way, if you order something that's not a bush whacker, you might get made fun of at the beach, just, just so you know. Mm -mm -mm. One, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a bush whacker. I probably could have added more ice 
to give it a little more uh, density, um, you know, a little more uh, thickness, if you will, um, to be more like a, you know, a, a thicker milkshake as opposed to a runny milkshake, which is what this is. But pff, who cares? It's a bush whacker. How many bushes have you whacked in your day? Hmm? I have not whacked many bushes. I've trimmed a lot of hedges and cut a lot of grass. I say all that only because I'm curious as to where this got its name. Maybe I should have Googled that before um, uh, doing this video, but I did not. So one of you go ahead and Google it. Let me know where that comes from. Bush Whacker. And by the way, you can get it from this fancy place called Sassy Bass. <laughs> it's, trust me, don't, the name is fantastic and is perfect for a uh, Gulf of Mexico grill. All right, it says, does it says Caribbean grill? It does say Caribbean grill. So yeah, Gulf of Mexico is Caribbean, right? Ma'am, that's getting better and better as I taste it down. I'm gonna go enjoy this. And uh, you guys, you wanna make a bush whacker? Go do it. And uh, happy end of summer. As we, you know, in the South, it's never really the end of summer. It always hits us another time. But right now it feels kinda like fall, right? And it is perfect. So everyone go out there and have a wonderful weekend and enjoy. Later.